Hello everyone, today I'm playing Minecraft again. So I did a little bit off camera, I mined that way, and I mined that, that way. Yes, and then I also made a, a mine down here, cause I, so it turns out basalt. I was looking in here, I had my sticks and I was like, alright, I should make some, uh, some pickaxes. It doesn't work with basalt. You have to use blackstone. And blackstone, you either find it in the, the blackstone biomes, which I don't remember what they're called, or you can find them just like um I think if you go if you go low enough down, you can find them. It's just naturally occurring. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Well, that's what this is, basically. It's my blackstone mine. Oops. And I found some already, actually. Which is how I made this pickaxe. And I also found a bunch of this lava stone stuff. What's it? Magma blocks. And they look cool. I put them on the ceiling. You can't put them on the floor, because then they'll burn your feet. That's not good. Okay. Don't want to burn your feet. I'm putting these around here, even though you can't really see some of them because of the, the fires, but it almost looks good. Oh, I forgot this way. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to go get lots of, I need gold and uh, blackstone, because I want stone tools, because I can't keep using all of my... Um, keep using all of my wood to make tools because they're running out of wood and I'm gonna need eventually I'm gonna need bone meal to plant more trees because trees don't grow no normally Ooh, gold I found a lot of gold oh gosh it might actually be faster to mine these blocks and then mine it okay but yeah basically the, the trees in the nether, I don't think they actually grow unless you manually bone meal them and have them grow. So I'm going to have to get lots and lots of bone meal if I ever want to get more trees. I'm just going to leave this there. I'm not even going to bother to fill it in or anything. I'm going all the way down. There is a little cavey thing down here. However, there are endermen and they really like to attack me. Which is really fun. Nope, stop. Alright, I'm looking around. I don't see any Enderman yet. But I know they're here. Ooh, mushrooms. See, we need mushrooms. That's our only source of food. Also, I might have died like ten times just to get down here. But th that's because the Enderman won't stop attacking me. I don't know why. They just like to attack me for no reason. Also, can you make mushroom farms? Because I have no idea how to make a mushroom farm. Every time I try to make one, it always fails, and I could seriously use some mushrooms. There aren't any endermen right now. Ow. Which is good. I've not explored down here at all, so there might just be a bear or something. But I don't think they added bears yet, so it should be fine. Alright, as long as we get at least three blackstone for every pickaxe I make. Oh gosh, they're here for me already. Okay. But yeah, these lava stones are just everywhere. I don't know what they're called. I should probably start investing in uh, quartz block stuff because quartz is pretty prevalent in the nether. Alright, I'm just gonna get lots of gold. I wanna trade one of my tunnels goes to the place with all the pigmen, so I'm going to try to do that this video. Oh, I buried myself in gravel, whoopsies. Alright, I just got some blackstone for now. I also have down here, I go pretty far down, I have a pocket down here as well. I don't know how big it is, but it's probably not too big, and I plan on uh, just making a mine at the bottom to mine for more blackstone. Because that's literally the only valuable resource down here. And if I find a netherite, if I if I um, if I basically get to a point where it's um, 
Nothing's really changing. I might just start going back into the overworld. And I might uh, make diamond stuff. And see what the, how the netherite stuff works out. But I'm not going to do that right now. Okay. What was I doing? Gold. I need lots of gold. See, gold I can use to trade. And I need um, obsidian. Okay, this is my sword. I could make a different sword, but I'm not going to. Alright. I don't remember which direction's the right one. I think it's this one. I should eat. Eat my last soup because I'm running out of mushrooms to make stew out of. Because I've only got one red and. Oh, I got lots of red. I don't have any brown mushrooms. Alright, well, well, if I get. If I see mushrooms, I'll get them. I wish you could turn those things into into food, but you can't. Also, I tried to capture a strider in my house, and it either wandered away or despawned. Probably despawned. Okay. See so yeah, this path goes behind my portal out to over here. Um, I don't see any piglings. Usually there's a ghast here to just attack me. I'm not finding any piglings, but I'm finding lots of red mushrooms. I think they'll spawn out. I just think they aren't loading in for some reason. Or I'll walk over here and then I'll walk back around. Get out of here. Oh, I just saw a ghast. Ghasts are really bad. Alright, there's one of my pillars. Just the zombie ones. I don't understand. There's got to be piglins somewhere. Oh, there's a piglin. I just got attacked by a ghast. That's okay, you. You're the only piglin I know. Take my gold. Um, I wish there was more of you, but there aren't. Which is unfortunate. I'll, I'll keep a, uh, an eye out for... Um, what are they called? Ghasts. Also, I, apparently the, the little piglins will steal... Ooh, soul speed. Soul speed's cool. When you walk on the soul sand, you go really fast, and it, like, releases the souls of the sand. But, I don't have any soul sand, so I, it's kind of useless. There's brown mushrooms here. Alright, I'll mine them, if I remember. I could do that right now, actually. While I'm waiting for you. Ooh, yes, I need this. We can make one of the things now. Alright, you're gonna attack me. Get out of here. More. No more. Alright, more, more, ooh, ender pearls. So this is actually a great way to get ender pearls as well, because you get like eight of them. More boot. are these all s soul speed? Alright, those ones are soul speed one, so they're boar. I have no idea how much gold this guy's gonna, this guy still has. Alright, well I basically got everything I needed. I'm just here to see what else it'll give me. Sometimes it'll give, it'll give you interesting things, I think. Ah, oh, even more, nice. Oh, you still have one. Come on, sir. I would like one more. Gravel, great. Okay. Gravel's actually okay. But it's not really useful at all. Okay. This is my way out because ghasts keep blowing up everything. Isn't that nice? Okay. Um, I would use this, but I don't think they work in just regular stone. I'll, I'll show them to you if I ever find um, whatever we need. What's it called? Soul sand? We need soul sand to do that. But we don't have it yet. Okay. Do I have... Oh no. I knew this was going to be a problem. I need glowstone to actually do this. So I'm gonna go get some glowstone so we can build my spawn point anchor or whatever it's called. But the next great thing is we've got some of this. We got more stew. All right, I got a bit more than seven blocks. I think seven is the minimum we need. Um, I'm not entirely sure how these spawn anchors work, 
and I'm worried that I try I, when you do it in the overworld they explode I don't think they explode in the nether but in the same way that beds uh, explode in the nether but don't explode in the overworld but I'm still a little worried and I'm gonna make a spawn anchor room where is a good spot for that all right this is the main main area this way is just nothing for a while so I might make some of this place my my room them endermen keep trying to teleport in but little do they know that's not gonna work out for them all right how far should I go actually I'm gonna make a little I'll make it an actual room and I'll make it three by three by three. Please don't be lava. Lava has a tendency of just coming out of everywhere. All right, my pickaxe broke at the right time. Okay, so now we can finally make one of these spawn anchors. And theoretically, my spawn will be set in this room, but I have to fill it up with glowstone. Respawn point set. Should I test it? I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna... Hold on. I'm gonna have to go break that portal. Alright, I'm gonna go break the portal and then I'll test it. I mean, I don't have to break the portal. I'm doing it to finalize my life in the nether. Okay, the portal's broken. Oh gosh, everything is spawning in and trying to attack me. The portal's broken. All I have to do is put this uh, pickaxe in the chest, and then we're going to test my thing. See, I think what's going to happen is um, I'll respawn like next to it or on top of it or something, but then the uh, what the the um, glowstone like charge will decrease because it's like I had to put four pieces in. I think it's going to be like I have to um, continuously put. Uh, some more glowstone in. I have five. And right now it's full. But we'll find out. I think that's what's gonna happen. I mean, what else would it be? Alright, uh, how should we do this? Lava? Lava. If I can even get to the lava. Alright, I mean, I'm gonna lose all my levels, but does that really matter? Aw. Uh, bam. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, it did. It, so yeah, it just decreases by one. Alright, I better fill it back up again now. So technically, I'm not trapped. I placed it. Alright. Technically, I'm not trapped in the nether, because I could always just die five times in a row. But, um, I don't have to... I'm going to try not to do that right now. Okay. Well, anyways, I think that's all I'm going to do for this video. I didn't do that much, but I'll probably... I, I need to find some things. I might um, cheat a little bit. I'll copy the world and figure out where interesting things are. It's literally... Because if I don't, then I'll literally just be wandering around forever and never find anything. But, yeah. Thanks for watching this video of Minecraft Nether Survival. Goodbye.